Hey guys, Phil with Royal Range USA here in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, today we are on the range, obviously, and we are running some drills and I want to focus on shot timers specifically and some of the functions and features and how we can use a shot timer to increase our skills as shooters. Um, so, first things first, let's talk about the specific shot timer we're looking at. Uh, this is a shot timer called the Club uh, 3, I believe, Club Shot Timer 3 by PAC. And um, we use these pretty frequently on our ranges for uh, classes and instruction. And we also sell them in our retail space. So if you're in the Tennessee area, Nashville specifically, um, you can come by the shop and pick these up. It's a really useful tool. Um, so let's take a look at some of the features here. Um, obviously, one of the benefits of using a shot timer is it's gonna give you some empirical data that you can actually assess and figure out, okay, I switched this up in my shooting, Is it am I being effective or is it efficient in saving time? Time is important when it comes to either competition shooting, uh, leisure shooting, or defensive shooting. When it comes to a defensive mindset and defensive shooting, of course we wanna make sure that we are function or, you know, applying good tactics and good safety things, of course safety and everything. But let's look at the shot timer and what it does. Um, so first things first, one of the things that you can use with a shot timer is actually at home. It doesn't have to be on a live fire range. Uh, you can do this at home doing dry fire with a gun completely empty and get some good practice in. One of the tools that you can use, so to get to this setting guys, I'm gonna hit these two buttons at the same time. You have a instant or delay. So for the delay, I'm gonna hit the top button because I'm shooting by myself today. Camera guy's not using the timer. Just gonna be me. Part time, that's what we're looking at, part time. To select that is the RVW button. We're gonna select that and we're gonna start with a, um, gonna use this button also to cycle through. So cycle through to the second column and we're gonna go to two seconds. Hit that again to select and now we're set. We're back to, um, we see our part time is set at two seconds and we have a delay. So let's see how we can use this um, at home, practicing. So gun is empty, firearm is empty, no uh, ammunition in the gun, um, and magazines are not in the gun also. So, part time. So what you're gonna hear is I'm gonna hit the button, there's a two second delay. Actually, I'll show you this real quick. You hit the button, there's a two second delay. You hear the beep. You hear another beep at two seconds. And that's gonna be our part time. What are we gonna use this for? We can use this for warming up and practice for this specific example is gonna be drawing out of a holster. And so let's see what that looks like. So starting with two seconds is kind of a warm up and a starting point. So you can see you have good movement, practicing all those things, getting out of the holster, getting on target, putting our finger on the trigger, making sure everything's right, pulling that trigger. So a little bit behind on that one, let's see. So a little bit ahead on that one, and as we get warmed up and we start going faster and faster, we can, include, we can uh, increase the speed of our part time. So going back to our part time, let's go to one minute, I actually cycled too far through. So, part time, we'll set it for one minute, or one second, 1.5 seconds. So we're at 1.5 seconds. So we took a half a second off of our draw time. Of course, we're trying to make sure that we can do all of our fundamentals, get on target, break the shot before that second beat. Do this again. So we're at 1.5 seconds. And then we can continue to do this, guys. This is something that you can do at home, getting some good practice in, and slowly increase the speed of your draw, making sure you're getting all those mechanics right. Um, so let's see what this looks like. We'll get rid of the shot time, or we'll get rid of the par time. Go back into our settings, cycle through till we hit par, then we'll go in there, go to the second one, bring that down to zero. So now we're zeroed out. We don't have a par time. So what this is going to show is um, actual shots fired. That's gonna record our shots fired. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my eyes and ears on. 
Our camera guy has his eyes and ears on. And we'll get the gun loaded and um, we'll kind of see what this looks like. All right, so zero part time, just use the shot timer to see uh, some of the data. Okay, here we go. Starting off a little slow, making sure I get good grip on the gun, get it out of the holster, have good marriage with my support hand, get it on target, sight, sights are right, get the finger on the finger on the trigger, break the shot. We're at 162. So my reaction time was 1.62 seconds out of the holster. And we can go slow to start. 167. And again, we're making sure that we're getting good shot placement on the target, making sure that we're not swinging rounds all over the place. One more time. Nice and slow. 1.56. So now that we're there, we'll speed it up a little bit. Start picking up the pace and see what we can do. So we're right around that one second mark, guys, for our draw. So that's just showing our first piece of data, which is our draw stroke. Now let's add in a string of fire. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to shoot three times. So it's going to record the first shot and then the, the se sequential shots, or the shots after that, whatever word that is. Um, all right, so let's take a look at that. Doing three shots on target, we're shooting from, I think, three yards, got nothing crazy. draw time was 1.61 you're gonna on the pack timer you're gonna see that in the bottom left corner that's my first shot then we're gonna look at our split times we're gonna use these arrows to cycle through first shot 1.61 second shot 0.28 that's my split time between the first and second and then the second to third was 0 0.30 we'll do that again and we'll try to speed it up a little bit here So we have three shots on target at 1.55. First shot was 1.3, split was 0 0.2, 0 0.20, 0 0.22 for the first, 0 0.20 for the second. So that's looking at um, some of the, what we can use a shot timer for. And then we'll complicate it a little bit more. Now let's use a shot timer to look at how much time it takes us to perform a certain uh, manipulation. So what we're going to be looking at here is a, uh, a tactical reload or a reload here. So the gun is hot. We have one in the chamber. I'm going to take the magazine out. That's got some more rounds in it. I'm going to put an empty magazine in the gun. So we have one in the chamber, empty magazine, and we have a low ma loaded magazine uh, to refuel that gun. And now we're going to look at how we can use a shot timer to evaluate different manipulations. So same thing, we have a little bit of a delay here. Out of the holster, and reload that gun, back on target. So pick up that old one. I'm gonna take the loaded magazine out, put that back in the holster, empty magazine in, one in the chamber, empty magazine. Looking at the time, 398. First shot was at 174, then our split time is going to be 2.24. So it took 2.24 seconds for me to reload the gun, get back on target, and shoot that next shot. So let's see if we can speed that up. Of course, guys, we always want to make sure, again, emphasizing and showing one, one safety and making sure that we're getting good shots on target. Don't sacrifice those things. Okay. Do it again. Uh, the time on that was 
3 seconds, 3.31 total time. First shot, 1.09, and the split time was 2.22. So 2.2 seconds, 2.22 seconds for my reload. Let's do it again. All right. I try to speed it up. What happened? I released the slide too quickly. The slide went forward without chambering around. So as we're picking up our pace, we're gonna start seeing flaws in our shooting. And we may make mistakes and then we can tune that and making sure that we are, we're doing things properly. So, one more time. Time, that was 3.72. First shot was 1.01, .01. split time was 2.71 magazine's not falling out too well, but we'll work around it. All right. So, first shot, 1.13. Split time, 1.27. Um, I was a little quick on that second shot, and I was right on the edge. Uh, so that was starting to push a little bit. But anyway, guys, um, this is some of the things that you can do either at home or here at uh, Royal Range. If you guys want to get better at some of these manipulations and drills, come take one of our courses. We do courses um, for new shooters to advanced tactics where you can learn all these different things. And one of the things that we use to add stress and to evaluate uh, how we're actually shooting is a shot timer. And again, it's something that you can use at home uh, or on the range. Uh, if you have a range that permits you to uh, perform some of these different uh, manipulations and different things, guys. Uh, but I'm going to pack timer, club timer three. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment. As always, guys, uh, if you like the videos and you like the content, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and even share the video. From Royal Range USA, my name is Philip. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Be safe out there and have a great day.